middleweight Ivan Reid, 2341,18 KO, made a statement as he knocked down former world champion Devin Alexander not one, not two, but three times in the sixth round of a scheduled 10-round bout, forcing referee Thomas Taylor to wave off the fight at 110 of the sixth round in the main event of PBC on FS1 and Fox Deportes from Saboba Casino in San Jacinto, California. In a duel of all-time great fighters turned trainers, Alexander emulated future Hall of Famer Roy Jones Jr. to start the fight, who served as Alexander's head coach for the first time. In the opposite corner, Sugar Shane Mosley guided Rage to the knockout victory, reminding him the importance of the knockout and encouraging him to use his power. This feels unbelievable, said Rage. I was a little bit nervous to move up to 147, but my team told me I was ready. I am more fresh and I am stronger at this weight. I was ready to fight and now I am ready to face anyone in this division. I practiced that punch every day, continued Rage. Every single day we worked on that left hand and it did what I needed it to do. I want anyone at 147. Danny Garcia, Sean Porter. Anyone. We felt that going the distance with the champion doesn't go in your favor, said Mosley. I told him, you need to go out there need to go out there and knock him out. That is what we practiced and that is what he did. St. Louis Alexander, had thrown more punches than Rage leading into the sixth, as he came out swinging, controlling through the third round, but by the fourth, Ukraine's Rage started to turn up the heat throwing punches in bunches which led to three devastating knockdowns one of which sent Alexander through the ropes. I threw a lazy uppercut and he caught me, said Alexander. I thought I could have kept going. That was my first time in my career hitting the canvas like that in my career. Of course, I am a warrior I had to get up. I am okay now. I know what happened. I know what I got hit with. It is just a shock. I am devastated in the co-main event. Hugo Centeno Jr., 27-2,14 K.O., of Oxnard, California. Lost via unanimous decision against the hard-hitting Millie Monroe Jr., 27-4-2,17 K.O., of Rochester, New York in a middleweight bout scheduled for 10 rounds. Monroe controlled the bout from the beginning of the fight, getting on the inside and forcing Centeno to miss. Centeno shook off the powerful punches being thrown by Monroe in the fourth until a hard left caused Centeno's nose to bleed. Centeno did his best to prevail and continued to throw punches, landing several that did not appear to affect Monroe. 